Hello, I'm Dr. Brant Gibson, and I apologize, but yesterday time got away from us and we were unable to post, so I'd like to post a couple extra videos today. But today I want to talk to you first about another way to control the damage that's happening to nerves by eliminating or decreasing your alcohol intake. Alcohol has two reasons, two problems that it causes that lead to peripheral neuropathy. Number one is it's toxic. Alcohol is toxic to nerves and nerve tissue. So you can actually get damage of the nerve cell, the axon, dendrites, even the swan cells or the myelin sheath. All of those can be damaged through the toxic aspects of alcohol. Especially if you have higher amounts of alcohol, it can cause more of a toxic type symptoms. That being said, the second one is probably even more problematic, which is why typically alcoholic neuropathy really happens in an alcoholic, is alcohol leads to a poor nutrition level. So they, they don't eat like they're supposed to, they're not eating the things they're supposed to do, and they end up getting a combination of the toxic neuropathy from the alcohol as well as a deficiency type neuropathy um, Typically, you'll be have a deficiency in vitamin E. You'll have a deficiency in vitamin B12, B6 in thymine or vitamin B1. You'll have a deficiency in niacin or vitamin B3. And you'll have a deficiency in folate or folic acid, which is vitamin B9. All of those are deficiencies because of nutrition. You actually have a decrease in nutrition. You have a problem with the nerves and the nerve functioning. So... That being said, one of the ways we treat alcoholic neuropathy is by increasing the vitamin intake of those key vitamins to help with the absorption and so forth of those vitamins so that we can actually get a necessary information. But we'll also be testing to see, okay, do you have a nutrition imbalance, a protein problem where you're not getting enough nutrition to keep the protein levels up that allows you to repair and improve the functioning of all cells, including the nerve cell. So that being said, one of the biggest ways that we can stop the damage or control the nerve damage that is happening is through decreasing alcohol levels. As you decrease the alcohol levels, your nutrition usually goes up and your toxic damage of the nerves will go down because you don't have as much toxins in the body. Um, and so basically you're fixing the problem by eliminating the cause. Now, ideally, peripheral neuropathy, you would eliminate alcohol together because even small amounts of alcohol can have some toxic effects, although most individuals that have that drink alcohol do not have the damage that happens in an alcoholic or alcohol-induced peripheral neuropathy. This is Dr. Brant Gibson, and this is your Neuropathy Nugget Day 84. It was supposed to be yesterday, but it's we're posting it today. And as you look at your habits, your social habits especially, uh, tobacco use is a problem, alcohol use is a problem, um, and you'll, you will find that even some of the other things, even caffeine use in some respects can be a problem if it's done inappropriately. This is Dr. Brown.